G'day, my name is Bradley, I'm the lawn tamer. All you weekend warriors that can't handle your lawns, I'm here to whip you into shape. You wretched brown lawn, you dare to defy me? I'll water you so much that the birds will migrate here from the town common. Who taught you your watering technique? CIA. Oh, everybody knows that the more that you water, the greener your grass gets. Sure, hmm. just like leaving your sausages on the barbecue for three hours will make them taste better. Or well, leaving the toilet seat up will make your wife love you more. I'm having trouble following you, mate. What are you even talking about? Look, there's a certain amount of watering that'll give you the best results. If you water too much, you'll waterlog your roots. You'll kill your grass and you'll just encourage weed growth. When forced to look for water, the roots go deep into the cool soil. They need less watering and they're stronger in our dry season. Ah, oh, so I should only water six or seven times a week all year round, right? Actually, you should make sure you don't breed. <laughs> Other than that, water no more than twice a week in the dry and never when it's wet. Tell me again why I'm even listening to you. Because I have rippling muscles when I work out. It's like a thousand carpet snakes have hatched underneath my skin. Women have trouble forming coherent sentences when faced with the triple threat of my Spartan-like jawline, patented super pheromones, and witty, yet caring banter. Yeah, okay. So how long should I leave the sprinklers on for then? Excellent question. Here's something I prepared earlier. Leave a container out during watering and time how long it takes to fill to the width of your thumb. Use this timing as a guide for future waterings. The time will vary depending on your sprinkler type, but for the best results, and for slow, infrequent watering, allowing water to sink deep into the soil and avoiding runoff. Ask me how to check if your watering method's working. Uh, what's a good way to check Excellent it? Excellent question. I like to call this the screwdriver test. Whoa. Just kidding. I was really hungry. This is a real screwdriver test. After watering all rain, drive a screwdriver into the soil. It goes in with a little bit of effort and grips firmly, then you're probably watering just right. If your screwdriver goes in too easily, you've probably watered too much. What I've showed you today can make all the difference between a lush, desirable lawn, just like my chest hair, and a pathetic, patchy embarrassment, like your chest hair. Do it right, and you'll save time, money, and water. For more photos of my stunning physique, some downloadable fact sheets, visit my website, tameyourlawn.com.au. Remember, don't be dominated by your grass. Show some brawn, tame your lawn.